Welcome back to Just a Printer. Back at it again. Got a bunch of catalogs and manuals printing here on the 1200. This is going to be running for quite a while. Also, got a whole bunch of Christmas cards to print. Tis the season. So stick around, watch me do all this stuff. It's so satisfying to replace the toner on these machines. I mean, that's a lot of toner. But if you're running uh, heavy coverage all day long, even light coverage, you'll be going through one of these a day. So these things are fun to print because the machine does pretty much all the work. I just need to impose, set the print quantity, and send them back here. And the machine prints, collates, stitches, trims them, and they come on out. But the real reason that it's exciting is because it's John Deere. I'm a John Deere guy. I got green in my veins. Sorry, Case guys. While that's working. I'm going to uh, collate and stitch this newsletter, maybe cut down some books, we'll do those another day, then I have uh, two mailings to work on, oh yeah, and a bunch of art prints here, so, anyways, here we go. While you were watching that, I got all these art prints done. So that it jammed. <laughs> so that it jammed uh, because I wasn't here to unload it. But uh, something else I thought I should say. Uh, the other day I was having problems with this unwinding. It seemed that the wire was on there too tight and that it was, wasn't pulling off right. Uh, so I lightly sprayed the, the spool with WD-40 and uh, haven't had any trouble since. So if that happens to you and you have problems unspooling the stitch wire, give it a shot of lubricant. Okay. All the booklets done. Let's ship them out. Work on those mailings. I started up the envelopes a while.
Okay, although inline finishing, like you're about ready to see on the 1200 with doing a trifold is handy because you don't have to stand there, it's incredibly slow and inefficient. So I would highly recommend doing finishing offline. You'll notice most of my presses are simply a high cap feeder, a print engine, and a receding stacker. I don't necessarily do any finishing in line. I do it all offline. It's just a lot faster. And uh, I mean, there's a place for both. Don't get me wrong. But uh, certainly not a workhorse to do finishing in line. That's real time. I don't know. I don't, I don't know exactly. I'm thinking that it's maybe seven to ten folds faster than in line. Okay, so we have our six and three quarter reply envelopes, a reply card, a letter, my uh, bulk mail forms, all go into number ten. So now we get to insert them. Have I ever said this is my favorite machine? I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because it's the oldest. Or it's just the... methodical sound of it running. I like this thing. So, what I'm doing now is moving these guides in. so that the pieces that we insert are centered on the fingers that pull it down. All we got to do is load up some number 10s here. Turn on our envelope moistener here. And prime it. This here primes it and then there's a valve that electronically will open once the machine's running. There I saw the bubble go through and then I usually just feel down here until it gets wet and then turn it off. Yep, oh, we're good.
Okay, I remember now why I like this thing. Because before I had this, I'd have to do this. It's not fun. So we went years uh, inserting envelopes by hand before I pulled the trigger on this thing. And used is the way to go when you're wanting to get your foot in the door. Um, I wanted to make sure I had re repeat work before I got a machine to do this. And uh, I had no training on this whatsoever. So I got it here, plugged it in, and just started trying to figure it out. And trust me, I was scared that it wasn't going to work because I was having problems. But I didn't know how to do it. Um, but for those people out there who get a machine and they're thinking that they can't make it work, you can just keep pushing. You got to push back harder than the machine. Okie dokie. Four bins pre-sorted. They're ready for the bulk mail center. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, like if you liked the video, put your comments below and subscribe for more cool content coming your way. But remember, I don't know if I'd trust what I'm saying because I'm just a printer. See ya.